your honor, everybody, and welcome to Absolute Paradise. This is the Cook Islands. Hi, we're Stephen, Jess, Hunter, and Baby Koa. After an incredible time exploring the nation of India, we flew home and are now ready to travel again, but to a completely different destination. Welcome to a three-part series exploring the vast beauty of the Cook Islands. That's an island. This small island has so much to offer, especially when it comes to cultural immersion. This has to be one of the most unique cooking experiences we have ever done. Ah! <laughs> this was hard to get. It is such a convincing cooking class, learning about the culture, learning about the traditions of the island. Oh my gosh, if you come to Rarotonga, that's like me to be at the top of your list. But first, we have a journey ahead that wasn't so easy to get through. This is dodgy. Never again. Never again. What a day. <laughs> Meant to be packing? What are you guys doing? We're doing a puzzle. <laughs> we cannot leave until this puzzle is finished. And it is so close to being finished. Look at this, Steve. It was our puzzle from Christmas. We were working on it for only six days. I feel like it's the hardest puzzle that we've ever tried to uh, do. Almost there. We get picked up in an hour. So we've got time. Oh, half an hour. Oops. <laughs> we've got time, Steve. Right. Hunter. Let's do this quick. The pressure's on now. If anyone's done one of these puzzles before, they know how hard these ones are. Alrighty, seeing as everybody is still in Christmas mode. Alright, we've got this. So like 10 more pieces to go. And we need to vacate in like 20 minutes. I'll finish the packing. <laughs> one day. Everyone say, see you house in three months time. See you house in three months time. Alrighty, bag check. I don't know if we've improved or gotten worse. How are we doing? I think we're doing well this time. So last time we left, we had a newborn. So we had way more stuff. Where I think we're going well now. He's nine months now. Two suitcases, one bed, a couple of backpacks. But two prams this time. Yes. We've upgraded to two prams. <laughs> and your teddy. Woo! Let's do it. We're actually on our way to the Cook Island. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Say bye. Say bye. bye. Hey, dude. <laughs> hey, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This one. In there, dude. It's way more tricky. <laughs> Poor buddy wants to just move around. Oh, 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 oh. Nine months old. Interesting um, age to find a baby. <laughs> Our flight to the Cook Islands tomorrow uh, isn't till tomorrow evening, so we just booked like an airport hotel, and I think we've said this airport hotel for, uh, three times now. And the one thing that we hate is spending a lot on like a taxi, and we know it's like a 10 minute walk or like a two minute taxi that's gonna charge us like 50 bucks. And like, you know what? We're gonna walk it. And we say it every time. Every time my bag falls over, get frustrated, I'm like, never again! And here we are on the third time. <laughs> but it's this dodgy, never again, never again. It takes us like 30 minutes to go, 15 minutes. What's the view? We've got Maccas, Krispy Kreme, oh, everything you need. Alright, shall we head to the airport? Yeah, let's Got go. another flight to go. And shall we get to the tropical island? I feel like we've got less things now. Does it look like a lot? 
tell us. Just, do we own but let's break it down. This is pram. So we, so this is pram. Okay, we should have broken it down already. We now tell you two prams. So if we need to, we can bring both out. If we need one for the day, you know, the options. And how many carry away? You can go out and in that little bigger. We have one camera bag. After how many years? Nine years on YouTube. We've we always had one, two wandreds. Because we literally had a second one of these to hold a drone. So now we have a wheelie bag. And then we've got Colors bed and then two suitcases. Pretty good, I think. Let's go to paradise. Heading to the Cook Islands is so much more affordable now as they have the only direct flight from Sydney to Rarotonga. Oh. This is the weirdest time zone change we've ever done. So the flight's six hours long. It's currently a Sunday, 9 p.m. We but we land at 6 a.m. on Sunday again. So it's like we get to relive Sunday all over again. Does that even make sense? It's Groundhog Day. It sounds like a riddle. You know when they're like saying the horse is on Wednesday and comes back on Wednesday? <laughs> you know that one? No! That's what we're doing right now. We leave at 9 p.m. on a Sunday, we fly for six hours, arrive 6 a.m. on a Sunday. This is the Cook Islands. So we're in Rarotonga. I am so excited. We've always wanted to come here. Six hours on the flight. It went really well. The kids slept the whole time. I didn't sleep at all, so I feel very much like a little zombie right now. And we're officially 21 hours back in time. So we've done a little bit of, a, of our time travel. Reliving today. Yeah, we're reliving today. And we just grabbed our rental car and now we're heading to our hotel. So we've just checked into the Pacific Resort here in Rarotonga and yeah, it's like 8.30. Just gonna get a room ready for us, which is so nice because check-in is until this afternoon. So we're gonna go and have some breakfast and some coffee, I think. But this is stunning. There's just palm trees, coconut trees everywhere. It is just so green and luscious. Cheers to leaving Perth yesterday, but taking almost three days to get here. I feel like the time zone changed. We can't get over it. All right, the person who is eating breakfast in Easter pink pajamas is a poo poo bar. No, not me, not me. I am hot. That is it over. It's a big poo poo. Oh, not me, not me. Whoever likes to eat watermelon is a big poo poo bar. Oh, not me. Bye bye. <coughs> Yeah, it's already here. Oh, look, there's a little outdoor seating in the little jungle in the forest. This is nice. Oh, look at that, Steve. Oh, coffee there. Yes. Wow, it makes you realize you really are in a tropical paradise, aren't you? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Gorgeous. Oh, oh it's so two bedrooms. Bedroom, Hunter? Yeah, it's like a family room. Where's your bed? Oh, the two beds. Whoa. One for Betty Cow and one for me. Yeah. The thing you look forward to that keeps you going through the travel day is finally oh, making it to that hotel bed. <laughs> I think we're going to shower and have a very short nap. <laughs> you come for a nap as well? You're going to let us sleep? Yeah. 
Oh, you're the best. I was like in that room and I was like in that room with me. And you was like being with mommy. That, you know what, that sounds perfect. I'm down for that. So we've got a car rental for pretty much our whole time here in Rotatooka. But there's a certain spots where you probably need uh, uh, something more like this little Jeep to get you out. You want to head into the middle of the island. It's so fun. It's like a half day tour that just takes you around to spots you probably didn't think of. <laughs> and uh, it's the final spot. That's the uh, the gem. The view up there is so beautiful. Ah, we've just come out to the center, the heart of the island. Just behind me is Needle Rocks, which marks smack down in the middle of this small little stunning island. And we're almost into a little bit of a crater or a bit of a valley, and you just see these luscious mountains, which what makes this part of the world so beautiful. Wow, like the view I am looking at at the moment is pure vacation postcard views. One of our favourite things to do when we come to a new country is go to a cooking class and we found one on the island that isn't just a cooking class, it looks like it is a full cultural experience because here in Rarotonga it looks like it is an island that is so rich in culture and history. I think what I'm loving so far is that so many of these experiences, it's just someone's house. We've just come out and it's just some guy's house that he's just set up for this. It's so local, it's awesome. This has to be one of the most unique cooking experiences we have ever done. It is such like a mix of cooking class, blended with learning about the culture, learning about the traditions of the island. So when we first arrived, we were greeted, we picked a chief and the chief picked his warriors, which was us, which is very cool. And it's a whole dinner experience. Basically, we are cooking all the food today. The boys are on meat, the girls are on veg. Okay, ready? And we're gonna cut like this. We're gonna be using everything just as the locals do. First of all, we are Charmaine. Pretty much prepare a fire using coconut, using the hind to heat up the fire to make it stronger. And then we all got some giant banana leaves. Then we warmed it up ever so slightly. And you just see it went from instantly being quite straight and strong, just wilting down. We do that so it's malleable, so we can pretty much put it around a basket. So we prepare our meat, prepare our fish, pair the vegetables, and we're pretty much placing everything on there. And then we're gonna start to cook it. It's great because everything is super hands-on. We are pretty much getting in there. He's given a demonstration and then he steps back and says, you guys, it's your turn to work so that we can feel like we've earned our meal today. We haven't just gone to a restaurant, bought it, we prepared it. So this is a traditional way of cooking and we prepared it the whole way. So once we prepared the meat and the veggies, we covered it up with the banana leaves, put it on top of the rocks, and then we slowly place more leaves, more leaves, more leaves, leaves and then we put essentially look like potato one. sacks on top of them yeah. and then we put that on there put blankets and then we buried the food so this should be ready in about an hour and a half so in the meantime we're gonna go prepare some fish as well as squeeze our own coconut cream and make our own plates we're gonna use this to make our bowl yeah this is cool. Ready to make a plate? I make my plate. You're making a plate to eat off. So I've got the first under the first. Yeah. So the next time you'll do underneath. Yeah. And then. Wow. Oh, this is what I'm meant to be doing, and this is what I've done. <laughs> they make it look so easy. And then I think he folded this and went over, under.
Coconut water. Wanna try some? Mm. Your turn. Good. Am I so sweaty? This was hard to get. To the next one. Yep. Watch your head. Who's hungry? Yeah. Yeah. One way to eat it with your hands. It's so good. It's like ceviche fish. told me that we were booking a six hour dinner with a three year old and a nine month old, I would not have booked it. That was unreal. But now that I've done a six hour dinner, I wouldn't even just call it that. It was like a full experience. Oh my gosh, if you come to Rarotonga, that's like, needs to be at the top of your list. That was probably one of the best like food cultural experiences we have ever done. That was so good. Thumbs up, we're exhausted. Book it, enjoy it. Food was so good. Food was so good, experience was so good. There was like fire dancing, the coconuts. Oh, everything. No. The owners also were part of the fire dancing. They could do it all. They, they did everything. In Insane. the backyard, in literal backyard. We were not at some performing it was arts. So thing. good. Stay tuned for more episodes coming soon from Paradise.